What'd you so say? I'm fine with you recording with me without me knowing. <laughs> All right, I just parked. We got an ASMR thing going on here. Like, don't you dare say one single word about not seeing anything, okay? If you want to see something, you can pay for a video. But if you want something free, this is how it is right now. This is just my real-time moment with Sarah. But, like, yeah, like, I was just telling Sarah before I started the camera how, like, I'm getting visions of how we once were, like, when I first started, like, basically falling madly in love with Sarah. And, yeah, we had attempted a relationship. But... True, like Sarah needs someone who's gonna be all about Sarah and Trina wants to have babies and yeah from her partner so she's like likes the D or whatever language you need not that I should have to explain myself who Sarah is in my life and who she is to me and why I'm in love with her etc uh, but my heart's breaking over here having this experience with her right now and it's like part of the reason that I love her so much I'm traumatized. I'm so traumatized. I had to take a video. So I'm driving. Okay. I'm always working I love to work. I love to drive drive is just a fun job. Frido likes to go 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 so We're driving I go over the bridge and there's a lady in a red dress and Sarah's like hmm I think lady in a red dress means something and all I could think of is um well, just like the lady in the blue dress, you've well, got cigarettes on your breath. Let's take that back. <laughs> wait, was, wait, like, okay. I'm I just, I mean, uh, yeah, like, I mean, let, I need Sarah to go backwards because I can't even remember before that. Oh, she was talking about Matrix. And well, what I was talking about a video that I wanted her to watch. Oh, yeah. Told, what video is it? The goats video. Yeah, What's she, the goats video, Sarah? What is one of my mentioning? Well, let, 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 What's let, it called? Let me explain. Take yeah, please do. Breathe. My face is itchy. No. Breathe. Fine. You sit there and breathe Fine. while I talk. Because <laughs> I remember everything. <laughs> oh, the <laughs> screaming thing. <You're> just <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You got me. So, um. So I, breathe. <laughs> so I was talking about this video I watched. I'm pretty sure some of y'all on here probably seen it. It's my pet goat. And I was like, I like to watch old things that I used to see before after I study a lot of things. Like, so since I study a lot of esoterical stuff, so I watched this video. And hey, I, wait, wait, pause. What's esoterical? Es, uh, I'm probably saying it wrong. No, I know you are, but like, and I know I am wrong too or whatever. But like, what's that word es, mean? Es, Esoteric or whatever. Es, yeah. What's that mean? What's it's that mean, like, dude? Like, like what? Like I, spiritual? Yeah, spiritual. Yeah, but what's the other like words for spiritual? Links, okay. Um, energy, that kind Because I have a book called Esoteric Empathy. So I was like, what's that mean? Like, what's that book about? Is it about energy? And feelings. Well, cause being has, sensitive and unseen stuff yeah because it it's an empath energy that's why it says empath but it's going based on mostly off of energy and feelings of how you perceive that stuff that's so different yeah okay so okay. anyways so yeah since i was i i have like, yeah i want to know your thought process like what happened you saw okay, there's this you, african lady you, in a beautiful you, looking all luxurious in her dress and yeah, I can hear people talking smack trying to say she's a prosty or something just because she's on the road. But seriously, her dress was all flowy. It looks like it's about to rain. We got this really unique, like chilly, eerie. If you let like, me it's talk, not that chilly. They will understand. Yeah, I know. She just like literally tripping from the whole experience. Still, I'm stuck there. I'm I'm reliving the moment. I'm okay, watching well, the lady in the dress and it's flowing. Don't get attention. What just happened? What's, oh, it's the alien thing. Please, yeah, please get to the gimmick. What just happened? Well, uh, they need to understand the whole little concept. Okay, so since I was talking about my pet goat, and I was trying to explain to Trina, even though she said it was a stupid movie. <laughs> and I never <laughs> saw it. I never saw it, okay? She's not going to look at it, and I know. I'm just being funny. I'm judging. I'm being mean. Excuse well, yeah, me. I'm sorry. But with her, you have to sit down with her and teach her in a subtle way, and that's I, that's my understanding. Lovingly lovingly and everything Quietly. but anyways i was kind of i was trying to explain to her why i like this video because i can see different stuff now since i have grown now since i was talking about that and i was telling her about how it's kind of connected with getting to the jesus consciousness and how he's destroying the matrix we turned the corner and we saw a lady in the red dress now that so i finally sit there and looked what that meaning was it brought me to the movie trivias of the matrix and so the stuffy yeah i know i told you you need some fresh air pachamama 
Anyway. <laughs> Sarah needs the natural elements. So, anyways. <laughs> anyway. Shut up. Anyway. Is it about this? No, no. Oh, okay. No. Um. Just checking. Anyway. Oh, you're funny. So it is just stuffy. Yeah. All right. Well, maybe because you got that fucking jacket on, you safety blankie. Yeah. Anyways, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> So we turned the corner and we saw this lady walk in a red dress. I looked it up. It went to, it went to the Matrix. And as in with the Matrix, when Meta, Meta Morpheus, Morpheus. I'm sorry. I'm you just gotta watch it again, bro. You got this. When Morpheus and Neo were walking, if y'all can remember this, when they were walking in a crowd of full of like business people and they're all in suits, there was a one lady that walked by with a red dress. And so since she walked by, Neo was kind of like looking at her. They were kind of having this silent, flirtatious kind of thing. So Morpheus... Beautiful had, blonde lady with mad, like, yeah, good what, looks, probably makeup. You know, I probably had red lips. I don't know. I saw the clip. Yeah, she had red lips. She had everything of sexual desire. So so when when Morpheus asked Neo to look again, it was... A, it, morphed. It morphed. Like Morpheus. It morphed into the alien dude. The, the agent. The, yeah, the secret agent. So to me, that made me think of They Live, for those of you that know about that. I haven't seen that with Roddy Piper yet. Oh, that's such a good movie. Bro, you gotta make me watch that movie. Oh, we still can We can hook up that. my computer to my TV and then have a bigger screen and yeah, we can do that. Yeah, dude, that's such a good... Don't tease me. It's or we can watch good. on my computer. I don't care. YouTube. Like, I'd oh, watch on my phone. Movie. I don't really care. But I'm, since I've read more, like, I mean, even Morpheus in, in Greek mythology, his name meaning was a messenger of gods. So wow. that, that, wow. enters, that enters dreams and um, mortals to share esco, esco, esoteric knowledge and hidden messages with the human beings. Quote, cool, right? That's mm -hmm. yeah. That's a quote. That's what what Morpheus does. And at that same scene, Morpheus was training Neo of how to find people in the Matrix and how. God, to stop it! You're freaking me out. Okay, now the fact that you're you're stop it. You're speaking into existence. It's so true. Like what I'm. You're saying exactly what I've been feeling. Like it's where you see people. Like you could say, I could be a mean butthead and say about your um, vape nace, you know, because yeah. Mercury used to make fun of me. Or how some people get those really nice cars. Or some people are obsessed with some certain products. Some people are obsessed with money. Like all the things that we're brainwashed and had to focus on. Or like how people, like yeah, you could say, people could say tattooing our bodies. Like, like think about how socially acceptable it is to hurt ourselves, to drink, to get wasted, to buy lighters. Why do you think that they push the agenda of none of us smoking and saying that it's all bad for science, but then we can see all the fake oh, commercials. Shit, come on, dude. There's bugs coming in. Roll your window. On the commercials, don't even tease me, bro. No, it was a, it was a freaking huge ass, like a. Okay, but you're also freaking me out about the other concept. Okay. I know. That's why I said. Stop it! <laughs> I thought I was safe in my car. Okay, but yeah, now the chemicals won't even kill these bugs and stuff, and like the flames, like there's all kinds of different things that are going on. So if you're freaking me out, I was talking about this stuff earlier today. You're right, like I don't really want to go into Tar J right now because I'm feeling like you got exactly all these Matrix people and then their brains are turned on in certain ways, Sarah, that's like this programming them to rape and stuff. Like this kind of this kind of thing when we're in the the meditation room. Because we will be a lot more safer. <laughs> but I love doing it like this. Yeah, because this too. is so raw and real. And we're like having real time experience you know with what, that you stuff. Know, you know what? what we Dude, should, my feet is going this off is like what crazy. We should, you get goosebumps as I'm getting. Look at, look at this. Yeah, our guides are with us, bro. No, and you know what we should do? We should we should actually go inwards, find our healer warrior, and bump it up. I did this with Heather. I understand what you're saying and somewhat. But, I, but don't forget about V2K. Okay, that's important. We should do that when we get home, if I could remember, because I need to study it too. It means voice to skull, subconscious imprinting from the bugs or from the. That's why they're creating these certain devices and things like that. That's their intentions or what they do. If you actually read what they do, um, or why they were built, or what their abilities are, you There's know. There's a lot of things of why everything is built. Everything's to trap because we can't. Matrix, girl, you're well, talking about, but I feel like I need to watch the movie again so I can understand. I saw it like 
Maybe I need to see the second one and the third one. It seems like there's some kind of secret Look, story. just like what I told you. I remember. And this is before 2012. Oh, God. <laughs> I remember this dude. He was on YouTube. I probably can never find him again. And he said, y'all better get spiritually right because they're coming and they're taking. They're taking people. Like they have. It was. They mentioned that in the right use of will. Yeah, because they're coming to taking people. They, they're taking weaker souls. And they're taking them. Whoa! Whoa, whoa! Now I'm interpreting the scriptures in an entire different way. The mark of the beast, exactly, and all the symbols. And yeah, God, like God's getting involved because they're, they're, like it's complicated, the, the dynamics. I can see that, and I can see the astrophysics, exactly what they're and, doing with the geo warfare, the biochemical warfare, and the democide. And look, and we, and there's still some healers out there. But if they're not, if they're not, if they keep on denying what they're, they're supposed to do, they're going to be taken too. Ah, I'm going to cry and scream because I feel like this is me because I hear Wolf in my head. I don't know if I ever told you that story, Sarah, but Wolfgang von Mertz, be the one who told me about Jesus scripture or like how the book mentions you, if something about if ye are lukewarm, I will spit ye from my mouth. Meaning like you can't be like. Oh, I'm for God, or cold, or like whatever, you know, or hot, like that. And then, um, yeah, no, I never I told see. you about yesterday, but I got brought to, like, church for the study. And this time, the story was about this big tree that was all full of fruit. Mm -hmm. And I get, and Nephi is a psychic. He's a prophet. He's old, and he has the same gifts as his dad, like his family lineage. And then they're making tablets, like strip, scriptures of everybody's family lineage, just like you're talking about, which is really funny. And then, um, but the story was kind of nerdy, but also really got me in the gut. It's talking about how, like, I guess, like, they're talking about the fruits of the spirit, like the psychic gifts, understand the tongues, and how people are eating from the fruit, and they all have, like, unique gifts or whatever from mm -hmm. consuming this fruit. And then, like people in the crowd who are drinking and doing bad stuff are like pointing at them making fun of them making them feel guilty and shameful for like what i just have this fruit like they feel like and they toss it away and they yeah, become it's, lost it's a, it's a and they lose the fruit of the spirit and there's it's a metaphor of having somebody who has a spiritual gift who's our healers rejecting themselves and then you have the people that are rejecting them because they think they should have they think their ego or themselves think they should have had that gift. Why did you What would you, you say to that? people, Sarah, though, that, like, all I can hear is, like, the fight back. So that's why I'm always fighting you because I already just know the, the flip side. It's like the... Well, give me the flip side. I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Okay. So it's like, what about the people that are like, I'm not a healer. Okay. Well, uh, you. You have other gifts. Huh? There's other gifts that you have to explore inside oh, the, yourself. It's yo, not everybody. I wish I had that paperwork. Like, I don't know where that is, but I have the... Like, when they came to my door, they left a printout on the door that literally named every single scripture and every single gift. Like, understanding... T I, I posted it, if I could find it again, but, like, I don't... I want to be able to find it again in here, you know what I mean? I want to be that, like, educated. I mean, because it, it doesn't have to, like, okay, well, I might have healing hands. I could give great <laughs> massages and heal people. That might be just my gift. Or building. Yeah, building. Or working with rocks. Or connecting and communicating. Yeah. There's all these like, things. You, you I got can, you. Like, some people are clairvoyant. Some people are clear audience. You know, everybody... We can, we all have it, but everybody has a certain gift because in their certain path, their DNA code, their like, um, their blueprint yeah. or genetic memory or their name or it's their something because we are put here to help something out that we might not see in the future. It's kind of like quantum, new and third law. Yeah, but equal it's, and opposite reaction. Yeah, and it's kind of like quantum physics because yeah, we can jump different quantum's. But each path, we carry that, that DNA, that signature, because our energy is our DNA. We have that signature, and any place you go to, it doesn't matter if you just went to the store or if you walked outside to your freaking... I'm just like, the goosebumps. I just know you guys are with you, yeah. and you got these beautiful, colorful tattoos. If you only knew what every color represent, there's a color book at Rose's shop that you're supposed to see. I'm going to make sure you see that book from Rose. Okay, let me finish. It's, yeah, I got you. I'm just getting um, visions for it. Like, you just, you know, you pump me up, you light work, or you light transfer, so. So, so, like, I mean, how oh, you lost, you lost um, my Oh, time. no. <laughs> oh, no, do it. Oh, uh, no. I'll try to get it back. But how I was saying, like, okay, yeah, when you walk to your, even, when you, when you walk to your, um, 
to your mailbox you're carrying all that where you came from all the way to that mailbox you're carrying your energy your energy is your DNA so when you go back inside you can call that back too you know uh. and it doesn't doesn't mean just you're like if I go and touch Trina she now she has my energy you don't even have me. to touch somebody you can yeah. think about them you can project anger spheres at them there's all these energetic me, imprints that happens to the aura the, me sitting in this car has my energy now if oh. I don't call it back it's still gonna be here it might be meshed with a lot of other people who have sat in this seat but you know Bro. and then if you're gonna call it back always call it the most gentle way you learn that from Heather too that's my favorite thing well, then you can well tell them why. Why? I don't I don't know how to say why. Keep going. Please don't stop. Like you just said, call, just pretend you just said it the most gentlest way. And then what? You, I mean, you can call it back in the most gentle way. You can what? call it back. Um, why do we have to? Well, I'm fighting it. Why? Why does why? that have to be gentle? Why can't I just be like, give me back all my pieces? Well, because you, because I mean, you might have other things that attach to it if you're going to rip it out of that you know or have damage it's, to that it's just like oh i want this and if i rip that i mean you made me think of another contrast like where i absorb the energy all too quickly or something mm -hmm. like that where it's a lot to process yeah that's what sometimes you do when you're not being mindful you know i feel like i'm supposed to call back all my pieces all the time and like yeah, i keep hearing do... ace cloister cloister like bind yourself up mummify yourself call back well, all you, your pieces well, listen, you call back all of it and call and you can also do it this way call back all of it and let it go through the divine light back to you oh you know what i'm saying a little bit it sounds like an acupuncture thing like you let it cook for a bit and you release it and it comes back again but yeah. you just like be with it for that moment and then because like, it has your dna print in it it doesn't matter where it, it just makes me feel like what you're talking about is me going over like a traumatic incident over and over and over again and just me going through it little by little by little until it's like like you've said let it all go and then it's like when you're cutting cords with somebody, you mm. can actually cut the cord and then visualize that cord you're putting into the ground for only healing purposes. Yeah. There's multiple ways. You don't I need that written down or like repeated <laughs> like three times till I well, like you got it on <laughs> I know, um, but yeah. you know I don't listen or watch anything. Yeah, like well you bet it was on seventeen something. Yeah. Seventeen <laughs> Sarah don't even know she's doing juggalo stuff. Ow, my jaw just hurts so bad right now. I just feel um, this anger release just coming out for through this knowledge. Like, like I, what? So what, what? I feel like the information I would call it going in one ear, out the water, or like going over my head or chopping my head off. Like all of it was just so quick and just like the light works so fast. I'm like, hold on, I'm digesting some of the stuff we said like five at five minutes. Like I'm like, whoa, like yeah. Some people might have to like pause this and rewind, like you were saying. <laughs> Or play it a couple times to actually I mean, yeah, really digest like, everything. Once I get going and start saying a lot, my stuff will come through. Like, it might... You're a dominant communicator, bro. You're able to simplify and distill whatever your feeling is and just so simple. And I'm just like, I'm trying to get all these feelings out, but there's like multiple dimensions of feelings and just no amount of words can ever just... <laughs> 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 you you like... <laughs> I'm stimming. <laughs> you know what it is? It's like me stimming, but without stimming. Like everything just bottled up and shaking up every just, molecule and blood cell that is me. You can feel it. I just. What would you tell me to do? What can I do I just with had that? A vision. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'm just trying to feed my cat. All right, we got these Trina Mason t-shirts. Sarah has invented them. I think I'm gonna have her like make them by hand and stuff. We're gonna draw our own t-shirts. Like she's selling me so hard, I'm laughing at I don't care if you aren't that size, you're gonna get that size and fit that size t shirt. Yeah, I'm just trying to fit to be my cat, you, can, you can cut it, you could tie it like a Britney Spears t shirt. But yeah. God. Ew. I like how you put the zodiac signs next to people. That's dope. Genius. Yeah, that's oh look at it, eight oh eight. Eight oh eight. I like them eights. Eight. Eight. Eight's my number. What's eight plus eight? See, eight and number sixteen, and that's seventeen. You know what? <laughs> oh no, no, no! I meant set. Like I was, I don't number, even know what I'm doing. My like, my favorite number. <laughs> my is numerology three. So, so, but if you have three, if you have. Are you one, no? But your life past six. I'm life past five. Oh, life at five. Yeah. Okay. Remember that your life past four. And I'm a five. I'm easable change. I'm the one that's venturous. I go. Like when I was a kid, that's. I feel like we should go I, on a W. Listen, listen. 
Listen, when I when I met my when I seen my mom from a, when she was in the hospital, this was like maybe a couple of months ago. Oh no! You know what she said? Oh no! You know what she said no. to me? You traumatized me. This is all new information for me. All right, all right. It's just a lot to digest. My whole gut was just going nuts for me. Oh, you know what I need to do? Some of that. Make, oh, I can't even do that. Yeah, hold on. Let's just chair up again. Oh, it's it's that. Yeah. Are we supposed to keep that? I don't know. Or Sarah's no. supposed to say I think that would be a good think of Michael thing, to be honest. The, yeah, we were supposed to give it to him. But anyways, back to what I said. So when I met my, when I've seen my mom, since I haven't seen her in a really long time, and she was in the hospital, and she came back, you know what, the thing she said to me, and it was so funny because I was working with Heather with my, my, <laughs> Hire my self. With, with my uh, life path number five, uh. and my mom said, boom, there's my adventurous child, and I was like, son of a bitch, <laughs> Ooh, excuse me, I was like, no, a bit is cool, I was like, son of a gun, you know? Son of a gun! That's just a good one too. Just cause of. I appreciate. I I like. I like. I'm sorry. I just got you props because I noticed what you tried to do there. And like, if you did notice, you didn't really finish the yeah. the, the female dog thing. But that yeah. still shouldn't be a thing. I mean, I, guys, I'm just trying to change up my language too, just to be. Don't a judge bit. yourself. You know, we're not. We're just both helping each other stay yeah. on this weird new path that we're trying to create that no one else is on. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I mean, well, it's, please keep going. What you're talking about, because you you've triggered me so like well, four times, anyways, Sarah. It's so hard to digest you because well, it's so much. With my, but it, like I'm going through the same thing, and that's why I'm like, is there a God? There has to be a God because Sarah's just saying everything that's going on in my closet between me and God right now, <laughs> and I'm just like, my God, I can't take it. Like I feel like I'm getting punched it's just in the like gut. When I told you once you healed, you heal everybody else. I okay, Sarah. Heal. I mean Heather. Like <laughs> all healing is self healing. Like I feel like. Like, did you know Heather before I introduced you by any chance? No? Well, oh, I'm I mean, so I, glad that I did something. Well, like, I, about yeah, like, I remember when I went to uh, Did therapy. I push you or something? Yeah, like, yeah uh, you pushed me to see you. And I, dude, just my intuition tells me the conduit thing. That's amazing. I'm glad. Okay, because Heather was just like one of my greatest healers. And there's very few people that let me share her with you, like anybody. And just like... Yeah, it's an honor to see a chick and like honestly like I yeah, I would call us that warrior goddess that was really injured or whatever. And like yeah, it's so amazing and it's so funny that's how we come full circle after you do the shadow work with Heather. It's so funny. And it's so funny too because you got to give props to you and your higher self because you knew your higher self knew to go to Heather like when we weren't together anymore. You chose to use your finances to invest in your education and like hire her, her as a teacher. Yeah, I like Heather. I like freaking... I we, like her. Well, we I just, love Heather. Yeah, I do. She's, she's like the only person that I give permission to touch me, bro. Like she does such amazing Reiki. And I know that Reiki isn't supposed to touch, but her... I like to hire her. What I pay for and like I tip extra for, of course, is for the like i like to incorporate like all three modalities that she the, does you should do the i do that just, no what cranial she just, sacral yeah but what she just learned oh she you, learned a new one well yeah whatever tell her she, that like help me communicate that to her that i need that we'll go see her together and we'll make we'll book my appointment or whatever yeah because i mean she did that's when the time okay mom like look. you're freaking me out like all these things you see what i'm saying like we got the unwinding work the she also does the like this type of I'm sure you felt her I would call it a weird massage because like she's she yeah, you can yeah, feel she her does that that weird she has like ways of massaging and incorporating the energies in her hands and the forms of expression and yeah she also challenged me I told I don't know if I told you this but her and Elizabeth if you know her is it the Elizabeth with the red hair uh, that's like the, strawberry blonde and dates yeah, Chelsea yeah that yeah. dates this the girl that sing, sings or they something. both sing and they both she plays harp and they help me tune my harp they're mad good people i love them in saint augustine i'm so glad that you know them yeah so elizabeth was with heather and trained with them too like exactly all they, this whole community is just so beautiful and, and how it all comes together but so the first person i'm at a bar i'm at stogie's like out trying to like talk to people and get comfortable with myself and yeah obviously i want to make money and try to like be traded services for what i do and um I ran into Elizabeth there, and something told me to ask her a nerdy jerk question. I was like, so, 
how am I gonna be a Reiki master? Do I go to massage school or do I like become a minister? What should I do? Like this sucks. I paid six hundred dollars and I can't do anything with it. Otherwise, I get like, how can I do this? How can I? I want to give rate like what? This is weird. The 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 government says I can't send out positive energy. <laughs> like you know, I was just making jokes and kind of being a you know, and like she um. She told, she told me to go to massage school. And it was just not the answer Trina wanted or expected. Or ex That's not the answer. And then Heather he told me the same Trina thing. Ego wanted to hear. Yeah, you know. Is that bad? I love bats. Two bats. Oh my goodness. Bats. Yeah, the bat, St. Augustine is full of bats. I'm like, so how, how do you like that armpit hair? <laughs> I'm just going to keep growing it. I'm going to be Shelby. I'm going to beat Shelby. I'm going to get longer <laughs> hair. Yo, every time I hang out with Shelby, like, she always can't help but notice that I'm always staring at her armpits. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't really looked at it. Yeah, it's pretty long, dude. <laughs> yeah. At least it's blonde. <laughs> it's all black and shit. <laughs> I'm going to dye a rainbow. <laughs> yeah. Put sparkles nah. on it. <laughs> Some glitter, yo. Yeah, glitter. Glitter pits. <laughs> Yeah. It's like, check out my new album. <laughs> Don't tease me. <laughs> We're doing it. I'm like, you gave me the promo pics. Yeah, we will. Just for jokes. Oh, we, we do I'm going to do the clown wig? No, hear me out. I, I already got the gimmick. I got the you know gimmick, the... just the juggalo face on, and you doing that? And you, I don't know if you've seen my suit. It's a, it's a one-piece bathing suit. And it's supposed to just be a cheeky bottom, but it ends up right in my ass. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, and, uh, yeah, my donkey butt. And uh, it gives me wedgie. And, like, it's kind of funny, but also it works great with for the Rikishi gimmick. But the reason why I'm getting at, though, is, like, the front is, like, a V. Mm -hmm. And what I wanted to do was get the rainbow wig and put it there. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> do it. That's just Joke just for people, you know, just to get some. Yeah, dude, I I love that I finally have, especially a chick that supports me. Am I like completely like what I would call retarded, Trina, like autistic? Excuse me, whatever word you prefer to call me. I've been, I didn't find out I was autistic until Wolf like straight up was calling me the R word, man, and like. I felt real. I was like, I think I really am autistic. <laughs> like I had to like really accept it, oh, you know. And I, you know, how I learned it is it was the same timing when Seinfeld rejected Kesha. Oh yeah. And it turns out he is autistic, and it's all about we don't want to be touched and like yeah, the loud sounds. But it's really funny because I'm also, um, I am what I'm afraid of. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I think I'm I somewhat fit on the spectrum too. I like you know I, I think everybody is. Yeah. And I feel like like I definitely feel like it has to do with epigenetics and mm -hmm. like the messing with the genetics. Well, that too, and then how we are actually evolving. I mean, come hey, on. Hey, bro! So I just got a vision that we should. <laughs> I'm always gonna use it on you now. Um, but um, we're gonna get in the car and we go down to Fort Lauderdale, and I'll let you ride with, and maybe like. Like, you know, we could have you, like, film. Oh, yeah. Or dude. I could film you. And vice versa, we could take turns. And, yeah, do, a, like, a trip and take an adventure through um, scouting out, um, traveling through South Florida. And yeah. while we're down there, I can also get some business done. Like, basically, like, yeah. um, there's some select locations that can only be shot there, like, for the mermaid tail. Yeah. And also, um, like, I don't know how you feel about it, but I was thinking about getting some more sparkles in my hair done. Yeah. Like, a lot, lot, lot more. And, like, oh, God, like, she, it's like a real hair salon, like, you're in there forever, like, they're working and loving on your hair, it's, it's like, I've been there for, like, six hours before, and, like, it takes forever, but I'm down to do it, and, um, yeah, it's kind of hard to brush like, your hair after having so many in it, too. Yeah. I like South Florida. Yeah, so, so I thought you would, like, be down with that, but, like, as you can see, I think I have, like, four, I have, like, a few left. Yeah, you don't really have that much. It's time. Yeah. I usually go down and do like 50 bucks worth. So anybody that's listening to this, if you want to send 50 bucks and save for sparkles in your hair, shout out to you. Um, yeah, sorry guys. Me and Sarah's been sitting here in my car oh, for 30 no, minutes and we got to go in. Yeah. Well, there, everybody closes at, I mean, the this guy closes at 10 and the other guy closes at 10. It's only 8.18. All right, I'm just letting you know. All right, I'm glad that you're protecting me. It's only 8.18. I just don't want to miss out. 
I and like pick out these pieces? I just got a message this way. You gotta be careful is all I'm angling at. Like, I want you to know that there is somebody that's specifically for you, like, and there's Miss Right now, and there's Mr. Right. Or Mrs. Right, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, I know that. I know that. I yeah. know all about it, everything, but this is... It's part of the path. I feel you, I feel you, I feel you. I know that. I'm just yeah. letting you know, but I feel like it would help you to create clear boundaries to know who's the healing... Yeah, Who's coming to you for that? And you're supposed to have your healing contract where when the the energy catches up, like the orange chakra energy catches up, that, um, do you know what I mean? Which is, you're like, it's like, it's gray area for, okay, because the orange is creative energy, like going to be creating stuff, yeah. versus also sexual, bro. I know. All right. And then, like, the healing contract means that you both get stimulated and that the healer, it's rule number seven on Heather's ethics if you have it. <laughs> do you have it? You don't have it? Oh, how do you expect to ever work at Spear if you don't even know the ethics, little girl? Because I think she trusts me because I win if the I know. You do know ethics by code. Yeah. But sometimes your heart, like, it's way above your head. Well, and I worry for you because, like, you put your heart on the front line all the time. I do that. And I'm, like, I'm watching you do it right now. And I'm, like, literally you just got out of something. And I don't know if you want to, like, keep putting your heart through situation, situation, situation. Be mindful actually, of not... your own energy and cloistering. You know that people are going to be drawn to your energy really strong right now. Oh, they always are. I know. But this is the greatest test for me. It now. is. I'm just I'm just letting you know that Fredo's here. And Fredo's, like, going bow, wow, 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 wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have a little hard bulldog. Hard. Like, you're not gonna hurt her! No! Not today! Yeah, alright, as long as you know that that's all that it is. No, I know, all right. I know what you experience. I know, like, yeah, I know. I'm just I trying had, to save you from look, that. Look, I had a vision. <laughs> <laughs> We're prophets, okay? I Don't make fun vision, of us. And I felt what you felt. Oh, you're an empath. Well, yeah, I'm an empath. Well, yeah. It's You're so just, cute. I take it, I take it, like, my empath is, like, a lot different than your empath. Your, your empath. We need to study that, by the way. There's, like, eight different kinds of empaths. I know. There's, there's one, there's, like, a fiery empath. And yeah, we need to study that. I'm the clown empath. Hayoki. Here, I got you, I got you. Is that the ones I like? <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear you. I'm losing like two OCD. I was hiding your car keys because I didn't want people to think that those are my car keys and break my window just to get your car keys and think oh, that they're yeah. going to steal the car like dumb people do. Like, no, you're in path. You're like very like hectic. You boom, both like break. Saggy. Saggy. Arrow. I, mean, oh, I like, love that Sag thing you sent if, me. If you put Trina in a full room of people, she's going to be like literally determined to sniff out who's the one that's fucked up right now. <laughs> or, <laughs> excuse my language, y'all. But who's the messed up one out here? It's you. I'm here to clean the souls. <laughs> me, I'm like, if you put me in a full room, I'm going to find, trying to find an escape. Like, there's something wrong with y'all people. <laughs> I need to go. You run away. I run towards the fire. Yeah. But then it's like then when I actually find my little cover, like my little my little safe place, they all start coming to me like for healing, and I'm just like, uh. uh is this gonna be an equal energetic exchange here? Yeah. So that's the difference of, uh, with with your empath and my empath. 